Hello. Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening, Good evening, Good evening Carlos. Good evening. Hello, Juan Antonio. Okay, guys, how are you? How do you feel? How about your day? How was it? I'm tired. <laughs> it was tired, right? Yeah, but we are in the middle of the week, right? Mm -hmm. So in the ombligo of the week. <laughs> <laughs> that's right okay so well welcome once again guys this is going to be our third class so welcome uh for today's agenda we have the following um information that we are going to cover we are going to start with the warm-up then we are going to move to grammar and today we are going to cover present perfect and adverbs we also are going to try to cover adverbial clauses if the time allows. We have a listening quiz, we have grammar quiz, and we also have the speaking time. And we have different activities that we need to complete today. So guys, um, the warm up for today is this one. So we need to change from past to present perfect, yeah? So the picture on the left shows Paul when he was younger. What has happened to him? Let's see. Number one, his lifestyle. What do you think from the those? Lifestyle. Uh -huh. Present perfect. Change. Change a lot. Okay. So his Ouch. lifestyle has changed Change. a lot. Okay. Pronunciation changed. Yes, changed. changed. Yes, all right. So number yeah. one is going to be has changed. Yes, changed. Yes, very good. So number two, he. He has. Uh -huh. He has. Become. Okay, so he has become uh, become running complete completely. Running completely? Mm, are you sure? Stop. Very good. Has it is, stopped. Yes, it is running going to be, Yes. Has is stopped. Yes, very good. Number three. He Um, he has grown some way. Yes, yeah, so he has lost. Oh. Lost. Okay, de yeah. perder. Yes. Yeah. Or he has a uh, rope. Or he has put on. He has more weight and then he okay. has rope. Okay. So in this case, um, we are going to grow. Okay. Which is the past participle yeah. of grow? Past participle? Grow. Mm. Grow. Ground. Okay. Wrong, wrong. Let's see. Okay. Number four. He, he has became. Okay. He has became, which is the past participle of become. Became. Are you sure? Become, become, became. Mm, it's the other way around. Become, became, become. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, he has become lazy and unfit. Number five. He... He can... Maybe it's lost. Lost, yes. yes. Very good. He, he has lost. 
His enthusiasm for running. That is correct. Okay. Number six. Better, but this way. But, that, but this way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, correct. And number six. The last one put on. Okay. Put on, um, he has on. put on a mustache or mm -hmm. he has grown. He has grown. Yes, okay. So it is, we are going to change, okay? Because put on, when you put on, when you put on some weight, so that means that you gain. Yeah, yes. uh, this is mm -hmm. um, a yes, synonym. So, okay. Correct. It is a synonym. All right. In this one, he has grown, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Past participle. Okay. The past participle, guys. Yes. Very good. All right. Let's move. Yeah. Now let's identify the mistake. Which is the mistake on number one? Is the the main verb go because the sentences is in past in verb. simple past simple past yeah very good so we should add we went excellent very good what about number two huh? the shopping is is shopping okay. Shopping mall last night. Um, are you sure? Uh, no. Okay. Is the verb the verb to be? Okay. Because it's not was, it's where. Excellent. Because it's talking about they. Excellent. Very good. The mistake is the verb to be in past. Is not was, it's going to be where. Because we have Sofia and Carlos too. Very good. What about number three? Antonio didn't like the breakfast. The verb like. Why? Because when you use auxiliary after auxiliary is the the verb in regular. In the base form. Perfect. Thank you, Jonathan. What about number four? Is it correct or incorrect? And which is the mistake? Uh, the same as the the yeah. verb. Okay, the verb. Finish. Excellent. Finish. Okay. Finish. 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 What about the next one? The same, I guess. Went. Okay. It should be. Didn't didn't go. Excellent. Didn't go to the park. Okay. Next. Which is the mistake? That's the auxiliary kind of verb. Work. The auxiliary work. verb or worked? Which one? Work. Why? Because you use the auxiliary does. All right. So it should be work. work. Excellent. And the last one. The, the main verb is in is in present it's and is talking in in past. Okay. So is Walt. Walt. Oh no 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 no. Is did Sophia walk from the Did Sophia walk? Ah uh, yeah, is the the auxiliary. Exactly, is the auxiliary. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. All right, guys. Do you have any question or any doubt about this? No? Okay, very good. All right, so you are good at identifying the mistake. Now let's move and let's start with the book. All right, I need two volunteers. One is going to be Alejandro and the other one is going to be Dad. Me. Okay. Abigail, you are Alejandro and Aleida, you are dad. Dad, I decided to launch the new 
papas sandwich. It's going to make our brown more popular and capture more sales. Okay. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fries, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? Mm -hmm. But that our clients love every single product we've come up with. Mm -hmm. We have always sold everything we offer. Decide, decided, okay. I think mm -hmm. it's about time of a product line mm -hmm. extension and time to open a new branch. Yes. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I am not working overtime. If you think it's going to work, you are probably right. All right, you're probably right. Okay, guys, uh, first of all, let's focus on pronunciation. So this one is going to be popular, popular, yeah, popular. This one is going to be sales, sales. This one is going to be besides, besides. So now let me ask you something. We have this um, sentence and it says, we've come up with. What is the meaning of come up with? Give me synonyms. No? Como Como lanzar, no? Um, not exactly. When someone is come or arrive? Mm. I think it's like when you already have something. Always. It is a, a part of the menu or... Okay. Very good. So in this case, this is a phrasal verb, right? So do you know what is a phrasal verb? Yes. Very good. What is a phrasal verb, Jonathan? Phrasal verb is a verb with an adjective. That is the meaning of... That is the same as another meaning. Okay. Yes. So, Jonathan, uh, a phrasal verb, guys, would be, as Jonathan uh, mentioned before, basically is a verb with a preposition, okay? It's a verb with a preposition, yes? For example, in this case, if you notice, we have come, that is the verb, and we have two prepositions, up, with, yeah? So this is a phrasal verb. So what does it mean? So this one, come up with, means, invent yes create in this case is the same as if we were saying but that our clients love every single product we have invented that we have created yeah sure. mm -hmm. i have a question yes. in, for example make it up make it up as well I invent her. yes but it's that, the same like come come up with it's the same but in this case both of them are phrasal verbs and the common verbs uh basically guys we are going to learn this i think that on friday okay but yes we have this topic so um uh, jonathan said uh make uh make it up right yeah and we also have come up with yes so but in this case makeup like that this is not makeup like the makeup that actually women put on okay now the makeup that women put on is uh, like this makeup right 
That is the spelling, but this one is different. It's separated, all right? So in this case, both phrasal verbs, because both of them are phrasal verbs, they mean invent, create, yes? So, ese es el verbo frasal y esos son los verbos normales. And if you want, you can use normal verbs or phrasal verbs. Yeah, it, it, they are the same. But the thing is that when it comes to phrasal verbs, you sound better. You sound more advanced. That is the purpose of you learning phrasal verbs. Because even though we have the main verbs, but we should and we must use phrasal verbs at some point whenever you speak English in order for you to improve your fluency, your vocabulary, the way that you speak, right? Your English level, etc. So in this case, come up with is a phrasal verb that means invent, create, yeah? So now, uh, Tony, yes. Teacher, and, and um, when you talk about the makeup and the difference that the, the cosmetic that used the, the, um, the girls yes. to, um, to the beauty, um, yes. the makeup in paraphrasal verb, the yep. pronunciation is the same. It's the same. It's the, the same. The thing that it's changes the context. Correct. And the spelling. Mm -hmm. The spelling. Because, um, yeah, if you notice, if you notice makeup together, right? It's makeup together. Yeah, there is More no sure. space. Uh -huh. There is no space. No hay, mm -hmm. no, no hay espacio, right? Mm -hmm. So, and this one is separated. Mire, está separado. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the pronunciation is the same. Makeup. Okay. But the context will tell you, right? If it is makeup, yeah, or is makeup of invent and create. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. All right, guys. Okay, now let me ask you, okay? Let me ask you the following. Have you ever heard, have you ever heard the expression product line? What comes to your mind when you hear product line? Henry Ford. Okay. Is the beginner in, in, in this um, in this type of productions? Okay. Yes, it is related to that. Somebody else? Product lined. Mm -hmm. Nobody? What is the question? Sorry, I no. Yes. I don't. Yeah. Have you ever heard the expression product line? What is a product line? What is it? Mm, a process. A process? Mm, okay. I have heard this expression. Yes. <laughs> yeah, always in Spanish. Yes, it's correct. Like, like uh, when you have a, a product, a general product, but um, from this product you have another um, so okay so, subdivisions or something very like that. very good yes okay yes um you are correct but I would say that the beginning is the brand right mm -hmm. so we can have a brand for example guys we have, in this case, a, let's say, Claro, okay? Claro El Salvador, yes? So we have the brand that is Claro. Claro has a product line, yes? So Claro sells TV, probably TV services, internet services, cell phone, landline, right? So the line uh, for this type of company is actually the TV service, the internet service, cell phone service, landline service, which is linea fija, landline service. Yeah, so that is the product line. 
For example, um, if we talk about um, bimbo, right? Yeah, we can mention different products that they sell. They have snacks, they have bread, yeah. So or if we talk, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. teacher, about cool. Samsung, for example, cell phones, tablets, right? TVs. 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 That is the product line. Air for conditioning. Uh -huh. Air conditioning, right? Very good. So that is the product line. Basically, that's it, guys. Okay. Uh -huh. So All now. The service that the company. Um, has, has sell, exactly. mm -hmm. correct, exactly, very good. Now let me ask you, what are Alejandro and his father talking about on this role play? What are they talking about? Mm -hmm. They want to come up with uh, new products. Excellent. Very good. They want to come up with a different product, a new product. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, excellent. So number two, is Alejandro's dad enthusiastic about his son's suggestion? Hmm. No. No, right. No, I think not. that they have uh, so many products that they don't need more. Yes. Okay. Very good. And have they both come to an agreement about the expansion of their product line? Have they both come to an agreement? Yes, teacher. Because yeah. at the yeah, at the end, the father said uh, that Alejandro probably is right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Somebody else that probably thinks something different, or you agree that they have come to an agreement. Huh? Um, I I think they they have. They so, have. Okay. Yeah. Um, because of the same reason that Aleida mentioned, Jose. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. We can say that yes, but maybe um his dad is not convinced, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So we also have a short concept about product line. Uh, Jose, can you please help us reading this little information that we have? Right here. Okay. Uh, product line is a variety of different items known by the same brand and distributed by the same manufacturer. Correct, okay, what we mentioned before. Maybe just pronunciation, variety. 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 Excellent, variety, yes. Very good, okay, so product line. Yes, product line. Okay, guys, so now let's move and let's focus on questions about present perfect. Okay, Um. do I have some volunteer to read this information that is in this chart, who wants to read? Me teach. Me teach okay. you. Yes, Carlos, go. Help us with uh, all of this. The present perfect tense is present actions that were started sometime in the past at that specific moment. The action may, be, may or may not continue the, in the present. Use the helping bear how the past participle from the verb that express the action. Mm -hmm. Yes. A. A. Mm -hmm. A. 
How you lose your mind? B. Yes, I have. I have not. No, I, have, I haven't. No, I haven't. Very good. E. How they always sold everything they offer? B. Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Or yes. They have sold everything they offer. No, they haven't sold everything they offer. A. A has Alejandro created a new product line. B. Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Or yes, he has created a new product line. No. He hasn't created a new product line. Yes, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, guys, basically, as you can see right here, those are the questions that we can create with the present perfect. Now, what we need to focus on is the following. As you can see, whenever we answer a question on the present perfect tense, we can have two types of answers. The first one is just by saying, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. But if you want to give a long answer, for example, um, have they always sold everything they offer? Yes, they have sold everything they offer. It's okay. I mean, it is not incorrect, okay? So if you want to probably rephrase, right, what the other person have uh, or has asked, yeah? In this case, we need to rephrase sometimes, yeah? But it's not mandatory. So if you want to use short answers, it's okay. If you want to use long answers, it's okay as well, yeah? That's basically what we have right here about questions on the present perfect, yeah? Now let's complete the statements below using the words in parentheses and let's make sure we add the verb in past participle. Number one, Carlos Omar. I lot of companies. Have I know the companies have grown wrong wrong because of well told new product line. Very good. Number two, can you please give us the answer and read it? Um let me see. Oh my god, okay. Emerson, number two. Okay. New members of the product line have attracted new make it segment. Okay, so now new members of a product line have attracted, attracted new market segments. Okay, very good. Uh, Aleida, can you please help us with number three? We have decided to expand on our product. Excellent. We have decided. Abigail, number four. Some companies have haven't to set mm -hmm. when losing a new product because of their lack of no luches about the target audience. Okay, very good. Thank you, Abigail. Okay, guys. Um, some companies, okay, some companies haven't or have not succeed. Succeed when launching a new product because of their lack of knowledge about the target audience target audience yeah number five can you please help us with number five uh, maurice okay oh have you yes have you yes have you ever bought 
Excellent. And a highly recognized product line. Very good. So just pronunciation, okay? On this one, recognized. 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 Yeah. So have you ever bought any highly recognized product lines? Yeah. And the last one, can you please help us with uh, number six, Tony? Yes, teacher. Have your company design design designed design design. Yep. Mm -hmm. Have your company designed a new product or service recently? Okay. Now let me ask you something. Okay, your company is first, second, or third person. Your company when we. Um, we, we need when we need to actually mention the subject. Second. It, okay, very good. Is it plural or singular? Plural. Singular. Hmm. Your I think that is singular. Very good. It is singular. Because it's not companies. It's Correct. Company, one. Very good. Should we use have or should we use has? Hmm. Have because, because this is the second. Uh, um, has yes so if we know that we are talking about singular even though the book says that it is have right we need to be like focusing on the subject so it's not have it should be has, has. has. okay that very good so has your company designed any new product or service recently? Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. hmm. Sure. Yes. Um, in, in my case, I need the, the list of birds and the different um, conjugation times. Oh, and I could you give us a list of birds in past participles? Yes, absolutely. I, yeah, I can. Yes. Because I, I, I have a, a singular confusion with with the ed or make the in the regular verse yeah. only we need to to change uh, to uh, to aggregate the the ed the the ed termination but not all the the verses is, is the same process correct not all of them are the same um that is correct you are right okay uh, allow me just one minute. Let me try to get that for you. Let me see if I have it like handy here. Thank you. Um, yes, I can that. Give me one second, guys. And you are right. So I think that in this way, you are going to be able to um, learn those type of verbs that are kind of difficult sometimes, right? Um, let me see. So what I'm going to do, guys, is that I'm going to send the, the link, okay, just for you to open um, those links here. Um, if you are from the computer, let me go ahead and, and send those to the WhatsApp group, okay? Um, okay, so um, yes, this one is going to be the first link. And let me get the other one. And this one is going to be the second link. So guys, if you open those two links, what you are going to see is the following. Let me go ahead and share my screen again. So the first link, it has the irregular verbs, right? Yes. Um, yes. All right. So in this case, we have the infinitive, we have the past simple, and we have the past participle, and you also have the meaning for each one. Yeah, you see, you have all of them, all of them. Now, when it comes to the regular verbs, okay, and you need to know the pronunciation as well, you can go ahead and basically, guys, uh, look at this um, PDF file and you see the base form, the simple past, the past participle, and you also have the pronunciation. So that means that this one is accept, this one is accepted, accepted, 
right? Past participle. And in Spanish, you have the list. And you also have the ones that end with the T sound. Asked. Oh, asked. great. Yeah, and you also have the ones that end with D. Yeah? Thank you. All right, very good. Okay, let's continue, guys. All right, so do you have any question about this right now? No? Okay, let's move. And now, yes, let's start with the main topic for today, which is present perfect and adverbs. Which are the most common adverbs that we have with the present perfect tense? So we have four already, just, still, and jet. And we use all of them in different order, in different position, right? Uh, you asked me that question, Tony. So today we are going to try to solve those doubts with already, just, still, and jet. Okay, so Tony help us reading already. Then Omar, Carlos Omar help us reading just, Jonathan, still, and Carla, jet. Okay. Already to state that something has happened early or had a of a schedule. schedule. Okay. Very good. Yes. yes. To express an action that happened just now or recently. Very good. Mm -hmm. Still to express an action that has not finished or has laid longer than expected. Very good. Yeah, to say that something is not happening now, but will happen in the near future. Very good. Excellent. So now, okay, guys, already, first of all, pronunciation happened with D. Happened. 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 Yeah. Yes. Now, this one, this one is kind of hard sometimes, and this one is going to be scheduled. Scheduled. With K, uh -huh. a schedule. A schedule. Yes. yes. And this one is lasted with ID, lasted. Lasted. Excellent. Okay, guys. So we have already just still in jet. Yeah. Now, um, mm, I would say that already means like ya in Spanish, right? Ya. Yeah. yeah. And just justo, right? It's almost the same as already. Almost the same. Almost. Yeah? And then we also have a still, which means aún or todavía. And jet means aún or todavía también. Yes? But we use them in different type of um, thoughts, right? In different type of situations. We have some examples and you will see. First of all, we have the structure because that is the most important part, right? So in this case, as you can see already, always, okay? In this case, most of the time it goes in the middle of the auxiliary verb and the verb in past participle. It goes in the middle. So we say, I have already seen that movie three times. Yeah. I have already seen that movie three times. Now with just is the same. Look at this. We have the auxiliary verb and we have the main verb and just is in the middle. I have just seen that movie with my dad. Yeah. But now a still is not in the middle. A still goes after the subject. I still haven't seen that movie with my dad. Mm -hmm. So a still goes after the subject. And it means yo aún no he visto that movie with my dad. Yo todavía, yo aún, yo todavía no he visto esa película. Yes? Now, and we also have jet. That jet goes 
at the end. At the end. I haven't seen that movie with my dad yet. You see? So we can use a still to mean yet. Yeah. But most of the time, I don't know why, but we don't use a still, but it is really useful. You oh. can use it, right? Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. And yet is for um for negative and questions. Correct. It is for negative things. Okay. Yes, that is correct. Yes, it is just for negative. Um, do you have any question? Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear? Not yet. <laughs> okay, not yet. All right. So let's move. Okay. So remember, just the position, guys. It's kind of simple. Okay. But we need to be really careful with that. Okay. Now I need to create Tony. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. In, in, the, in the use of the. Uh, this is preposition. No, it's not a preposition. It's a. No. Those are adverbs. These adverbs have, um, this is the only way that you use them, but they have uh, uh, exclusions or singular forms to use by another way? Mm, like in different tenses? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. Um, so, you know, yes. Um, like can... exceptions. I don't know if it's the, 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 the right word. The, this preposition are, have exceptions to the use? Mm. Maybe, yes. All right. The one that actually is an exception is going to be already. Because with, with uh, already, what we can do is this. I have seen that movie three times already. And already can go at the end. Okay, we can we can use it at in the middle after the after the auxiliary bird, correct? Or and at the end. At the end. Okay. Yes. That one is the only exception. Yes. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So now let's move. Okay, let's move. And what we are going to do is the, just let me see if I can copy this. Okay. And let's go to the activity. So individually, I need to create one sentence per a structure, okay? One sentence per a structure. I'll give you uh, five minutes so you can go ahead and work on those four sentences, okay? And then send those to this chat, okay, in Zoom, yeah? If you are driving, don't worry, okay? Just the ones that can participate, please do so, okay? And this one is the second structure, okay?
Okay, Raúl, in this case, the one that you sent to me is in simple past. But remember that we are covering present perfect. Okay. Yeah. I have already played the guitar. Yes, Carlos, just don't forget period. El punto y final, guys, period at the end of the sentence, okay? Okay, okay. Uh -huh. But it was good. Yes, it is. It is good. I have already changed my clothes. Yes, I have already seen these people. Oh yes, Maurice. The only thing is that this should be T-H-E-S-E -E because it's plural. Okay, okay. Okay, I have already gone three times to the beach this month, okay? She has not, she still, she still has not. Hmm? Look at the position of the steel. Okay. Let me change. Okay. I have already seen all those shirts. Okay, Atilio? Yes. Just period at the end. Atilio? El punto y final. Period at the end. Period. I have applied the payment already. Okay, very good. I have just opened the windows. Perfect. I still haven't finished the homework. A spelling, you were missing the letter E. I haven't listened that sound yet. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alita. I have already played soccer twice this week. Yes, Roberto. Very good. I have already done my homework. Yes, Abigail, my brother and I have just traveled from Guatemala to Honduras. Okay, Raul. I have just, I have just, uh, Carlos Omar, verb in past participle. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio de go? Past participle. Gone. Gone. Very good. I have just had in my life, okay. okay. I just saw my daughters. Um, Atilio, that one is in simple past, but remember that it should be in present perfect. Yes, yes. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Don't worry, okay, but present perfect. Emerson, I have already done the report of the new product, perfect. I have just sung that song with my brother with okay so it is w um i t h with okay luis miguel i have already mm, okay past participle of fix i have already pasado participio um i have just okay in this case i have just found my keys because fault is pelear bueno pelear en pasado right found f o u n d luis miguel bernardo let me see i haven't cooked the dinner yet okay i still haven't bought the computer excellent they have just arrived home yes we have already asked for the tv's prize perfect very good. I have already eaten my dessert. She has just, yes, run one mile to work. I still, oh, you, you are missing the, the auxiliary verb on that one. On number three. Oh, yeah. I'm still driving, okay. Yes. Uh-huh. 
Uh, he hasn't come to the, to the meeting, to the meeting, to the meeting yet. To the meet. To the meeting. To the meeting. Mm -hmm. Why in this case with ing? Because meeting means reunión. Y me de reunirme. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I still haven't. I still haven't had the chance to do my homework, Carlos Omar. I still haven't had the chance to do my homework. Found yes, she has not. Okay. Frozen the food jet. Yes, Jonathan. I still have not traveled to Europe. Yes, Roberto. The kids, the, the kid has not been able to walk yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I have already I have already been sick three times. Okay, Kenya. I haven't received it yet. Yes, Raul. I have just eaten my favorite food with my brother. Perfect. Um Okay, guys, another observation uh, must be whenever we have proper nouns. What are proper nouns? Proper nouns are basically uh, the name of places. Your name is proper noun. The name of different places, proper noun. Uh, cities, countries, uh, towns, those are proper nouns, yeah? So proper nouns in English, they go in capital letter. I mean, you need to add the first letter uh, with a capital, right? For example, Europe should be capital E, no lowercase. The same thing in Spanish, right? It's the same in Spanish. Yes? Recuerda que cuando estamos hablando de nombres propios, siempre van con letra mayúscula la primera. Okay? Yeah? Very good. Do you have any question right now, guys? Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear about the things that we have covered? Huh? Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, I think, teacher, I think, okay. I think we yeah. are going to improve the use of these adverbs. Uh, Yes. Uh, with the pra with practice only. Correct. All right. Aleida, can you please create the first question? You see in present perfect, okay? I? I have, I have, re sorry. Well. Uh, I have read already your book several times. Um, okay, I have read your book several times. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, uh, do not include uh, the adverbs. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Number two, Aleida. She has worn the skirt many times. Okay, she has worn that skirt um. Worn, worn, worn. That's skirt many times. Very good. Number three, Jonathan. My family has visited Brazil a few times. Yes, my family has visited Brazil a few times for Jonathan. I I have it in already. Excellent. Emerson, number five. Marta have uh, finished her homework. Okay, so Emerson, Marta has or have? Has. Excellent, Marta has, has finished, finished her homework, okay? Uh, Atilio, number six. You have break the glass again. 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 Okay, yeah. so now Atilio, Past participle of break. Break. No, that is present. But past participle. Past participle. Broken. 
broken. Perfect. Broken. You have broken. You have broken the glass again. Yes. Maurice, number seven. Uh, they have a pail for everything. For everything. Very good. Number eight and nine, please, Roberto. It has never snowed like that. Mm -hmm. And I have met Anna once. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Carla. Number 10, 11. Number 10. Yes. We have seen him before. Okay. Uh, I must do. No sé cuál es. You bow? have. Okay. Uh -huh. you, you have. You have bow for cars so far. Very good. And um, number 12, Abigail. There. The time is past. Mm, uh, person perfect. Uh, there have been problems. Very good. Yes. Number 13, Pablo. I have had a snake. Excellent. Um, number 14, Jose. Aria has raised a monkey. Okay. Um, all right. So, raised. Yeah. And 15, please, Carlos Vladimir. Did you have a glove? So much. Okay. The kids have grown, 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 grown so, so much. much. Yes. The best participle is rice. Yeah. Which is rice? the best participle? Of rice. Yes. Is the same rice with the letter D. Uh, rice. Right. Yeah. Correct. And wrong is the from row is wrong. Um, for M for the number fifteen. Fifteen. Wrong. wrong. Oh yeah, wrong. wrong. Yes. With the M. Yes, with the end at the end. Wrong app. Yeah, wrong. Yes, with the letter N. The sound wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Let's take, well, I'm going to take attendance, okay? Because it's almost nine. So let me take the attendance and then we are going to take the quiz, okay? But first the attendance. Uh, Aleida Esmeralda Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos Omar Linares. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Daisy, Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Yes. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present miss. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González. Present. Thank you. Uh, George Antonio Sánchez. I think that he's driving. Jose Bernardo López. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodríguez Zelaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenya. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Marian Scarlett Rodríguez. Marian. No? Okay. Um, Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade Garcia. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vasquez. 
Right, present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Present. Thank you. Roberto Esaú Celaya. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Wendy. Wilbert Jonathan Bautista Aguilar. Wilbert. Wilbert Jonathan. Okay. All right, guys, let's move and let's take the first quiz. And what we are going to take right now is the one that says adverb quiz. That one. Okay. Yes, if you are on the spreadsheet, that one. Okay. And if not, I will send it right now here uh, to the chat. Adverb quiz. Yes, that one. Um, so there you go with the link. And the passcode is grammar, capital letter, okay? This is a short quiz, guys. It has, if I'm not mistaken, it has five questions only. Okay. Um, yes, just five questions. Okay, guys, uh, we are going to have just five minutes, okay? Finish teacher. Yes. Okay. All right, guys, let's wait just two minutes for the other ones to finish, okay? What are you doing? Hello, Wilbur. Hello. How are you? Good evening. Uh, so, so. So, so. Okay. So, I think that you have had a, a really tiring day. But, Wilbur, we are taking one quiz. Um. So I send it to your uh, chat. Okay. Yes. Take yes, it. Yes, I, 
I could enjoy it early because uh, my internet is bad. I live in countryside, this internet is bad. Yes, I understand. Okay, don't worry. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I send the, the, the quiz that we are taking, Wilbur. So if you're so kind, you can go ahead and take it. Okay. Okay, let me see, guys. If you're yes, I think that most of you can. Okay, let me see. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Do you have any question? Something that is not clear. Guys, um, what I can see here is that some of you, some of you have failed because of the of the structure. Remember that um, jet cannot go at the beginning. If you look at the structure, look at where jet is, right? So you need to focus on the structure. Okay. Because I can see that the ones that probably got a low score is because of that, is because of the structure. Because probably you thought that still maybe uh, goes here at the end or jet at the beginning, right? And no, we, we have the structures, okay? So you need to follow the structures. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Now let's move, okay? Let's move. And right now what we are going to do is that we are going to start with the speaking time. And for the speaking time, we have um, two questions, all right? So what I need to discuss, do not like write down, but if you want, do it, okay? But this is just for you to speak, okay? I need to discuss four advantages and four disadvantages of studying abroad. What is the meaning of abroad? Who can tell us in English? Who can explain to us what is abroad? Um, when you study out of the country. Excellent. When you study out of the country. When you study in a different country. Abroad. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I need to talk about four advantages and four disadvantages of studying abroad. And then, okay, I need to discuss this one, all right? If you had the opportunity, let's say that you are studying at the university, yeah? So which one would you like to choose for your final project? Giving a presentation, writing a paper. When it says writing a paper, that means writing an essay. Yeah, you know what is it's an a essay? report? An essay is un ensayo. Okay, okay, Raul, got it. Uh, writing a paper is not a report. It is um, actually an essay. Es un ensayo, okay? And the last one, creating a video. And why? You need to talk about your own opinion individually, right? I'll give you around five to six minutes to talk about all of this. Those two, okay? Yes, try to discuss as many advantages and disadvantages, and then you move to this one, okay? After that, we are going to come back and we are going to continue with the other activity that we have, okay? So open the class, please. Open the class, and I'm going to, um, let me see. Um, I'm going to make available the, the screen sharing so you can share your screen if you are from the computer, okay? Bye, guys. Para que usted pueda compartir su pantalla con su compañero, si quiere, lo puede hacer. Ya les habilité la opción, okay? Okay, teacher. Yes. Okay, here we go. Can you share the print screen of the two tasks, please? It, uh, yes, of course. This one? Thank you. This one and the other one. Okay. And this one? Okay. 
Thank you. Right? Okay. Yeah, let me see. Call Antonio, yes. I'm going to move you with host. I'm going to move. Uh, Tony, did you receive the invitation? Yes, but maybe I push the, okay, the wrong button. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to move you. Thank you. Okay. Wilbur. Wilbur? Hello. Did you take the quiz? Uh, I couldn't enter. Why not? Uh, because uh, I need a password and a okay. user, but I don't know. The passcode is grammar. Mm. But in capital letters, grammar. Mm, okay. Yes. Yeah, can just send me again. Yes, let me send the link. Mm, creo que se ha tenido problemas con el internet, Wilbur. Yeah, I had a lot of problems. Yes, dice que no está en la meeting. No, no, no lo toma como que estuviera aquí. <laughs> I don't exist. <laughs> okay, give me one second. Let me see, Wilbur. I am an angel. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Now, yes. Vaya, ahorita sí ya le llegó. Pero le llegó como doble. Vaya, no. El último, ¿ok? El okay. último. El, el código es grammar, ¿ok? Solo copia y pega el código y pones su nombre completo, ¿ok? Ok. All right. Yes. Um, do you have any question? Guys, are you there? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, but uh, I can share the screen. Why not? I'm on the cell phone. Ah, you're on the cell phone? Okay. Yes. Okay. I don't know if you can move to another. Yes, teacher. I I try to. Let me see who. Ah, uh, yes. I think that Emerson probably he's friend. Okay, I'm going to move you. Okay, let me see. Everybody's quiet in this world too. Yes, guys, <laughs> what are you doing? Let me let me check the other one. Give me one second. Tom. And the negative of the student awarding, what do you think? Again, to write them. Okay, team. Been away from family. Yeah, well. From family. From family. Yes, because you can see your family. <laughs> Please. 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 
Eh, te lo voy a escribir en el chat. to the other country because it's difficult, I think. Okay. The another teacher, um yeah. what do you what do you uh, what what is the meaning when you say homesick? Homesick that you probably feel like that you are missing your your country. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. That you feel sad because you are thinking, for example, if you were in the US, right? And you say, I am homesick. That means that you are missing El Salvador, that you miss your family, mm -hmm. the food, your friends, and you feel sad in the US. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I got it. Okay, very good. Okay. Cool issue. So sure. You cannot move as you wish. As you wish, 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 wish. As you wish, como tú quisieras, mm -hmm. o como uno desee. Okay. This this point is for the security. The for the security. <laughs> No, it's for money. Uh, uh, my, well, ne my, nephew, my nephew traveled the last week to Irlanda. Uh, I don't know how to say Irlanda. Uh, uh, Ireland? Ireland. 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 She, she cannot move if she don't... If she doesn't? Uh, if she doesn't have a, a guide. A guide? A guide. Mm -hmm. Because she don't... She doesn't know the place. She doesn't know people because uh, she traveled alone for studying. Mm -hmm. Dep uh, Tony, depend or the depend of the country you learn a new language. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it, it is when you think about the problems, you maybe um, see the glass. Mm, and a half of empty and a half of full. Um, this yeah. is the, the, the reason when you travel alone or travel with with different person, friends and family. If I uh, stay in a, in a new country and in a new place, um, the first the, the first thing that I think is how uh, how I move how como voy a mover how. Do I move? Going to move to move in this country. Um, I try and um, walk uh, in uh, by by the bus, uh, by bus, by bus, uh, taxi, and now Uber drivers or rent a car. Um, it depends of of, of your imagination and if the or, country or the previous situation. Uh -huh. If you go to the study, mm -hmm. or you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no problem, no problem. Okay. It's a different way to 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 see the. In English? <laughs> How do you say me falta una in English? Uh, still well, no. No. Um, in this case, como quiere decir, nos falta una, puede decir, we are missing one. Ah, we are missing one. We are missing one. Y cuando usted se refiere a me falta una, solo a usted, I am missing one. 
Ay, mismo. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. One advantage and uh, one disadvantage. Yes. I want the advantage. The culture, maybe. The culture? Yes. Ok. Y en advantage. You can, you can make new friends. Maybe. Yes, you can make new friends. Absolutely. You can make new friends. Yeah, oh no, see. Sí. Which would you like to choose for your final project? We, we, a, are we to, to choose one of, of this one? To choose? Correct. Okay. And we have to, to do it, right? Yeah, you just need to speak about it, right? But you should have your own opinion. It's not as a team, sino que es como también su propia opinión, okay? Porque tal vez Carla va a decidir a writing paper and maybe you, Roberto, you will say, no, teacher, I decide creating a video, but why, right? What about the advantage and the disadvantage, right? Uh, no, about which one would you like to choose for your final project? Ah, uh, the final project, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, for, you. for me, is there a, a creating a a presentation? Creating so a pres we can we can practice more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a good idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think depend for the career. ¿Cómo sería? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's uh, uh probably on the yes on the on the on the degree. Degree. Um, maybe in English. I think it's better giving a presentation then. Okay. Uh, okay. Why? Um, <laughs> Mm -hmm. because mm, because it allows it allows um show the maybe they learned the knowledge. Mm -hmm. knowledge. The knowledge, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. In writing a paper is a, a thesis, no. No, writing a paper Thank is you. an essay. Es un ensayo. Uh, no. No. Even a, a presentation can be, for example, in PowerPoint, right? Yes. I'm creating a video. Uh, how many? Minutes are... Yeah, but you need to actually use your cell phone, right? And it will take, I don't know, because you need to record yourself. And if you make a mistake, you need to record yourself again, right? So, um, yeah. yes. <laughs> yes, I know. It is easier, right, to give a presentation. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Yes. Okay. Okay.
All right, guys. So let's wait for the other ones to join. Okay. Let me see. We're missing some. Okay. Eh, Roberto Esau. Roberto, can you please tell us um, some advantages and some disadvantages of studying abroad? What do you think are advantages and disadvantages? Okay. Uh, one advantage is, is uh, uh, for example, make new friends. Okay, you make new friends. Uh -huh. You can meet uh, a lot of people. Um, friends. Okay. And new places too. Okay. New places. You can visit new places. Okay. Visit new places. And one disadvantage can be if the country speaks a different language, and you can you you have you have to to learn the, the idiom. Okay. Very good. Okay. And Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the last one. The last one disadvantage. Yes. Okay, these adventures can be the culture. Culture. culture Absolutely. The culture. Absolutely. Okay, Jose, what about you? What do you think are advantages and disadvantages of a studying abroad? Well, advantages of studying abroad could be uh, you, you know new people, you improve if you, for example, if you travel to Europe, you improve your language your knowledge mm -hmm. and you can taste new food okay and disadvantages that uh, if you're studying you don't know people uh, you can move as you wish you don't know uh, the culture you um mm, how is Um, I do. How do I say? You have the limits. Okay. Of what you want or you would like to do. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jose. All right. Um. Okay, guys. Um. Some observations. Okay. Uh. First of all, well, the first thing is that sometimes. Uh. Once I entered to the breakout rooms, you were uh, like in silence, right? So you were not practicing. Uh -huh, you should practice, okay? If you go to the breakout room, please try to practice with your friends, right? Because sometimes they want to uh, speak, but you are on mute and you have your camera off. So there is no participation, right? And the purpose is you participating, okay? Then uh, the other thing that I would like to mention is this. Okay, so guys, how do you say it depended day? Is this correct? It depends of. Yes, um, it's a good way to, to say it. It's a good it's way to say it. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. I think it depends. Just that. It depends, okay, and okay, like it depends. It depend on. Okay, all right. So let's see. Um, okay, it depends. Uh -huh. It depends on, oh. okay. All right, so this one, uh, even though you say that it is a good way to say it, but this is Spanish. This is Spanish, okay? Eso a literal es, traduction. Yeah, a literal traduction. It is Spanish. So now it depends. Yes, it depends. Yes, all right. It depends. Could be. But now the complete phrase, depende de, should be it depends on. All right. So if we were missing just the letter S, right? So it depends on, oh. yes, okay. So this one never, okay, not anymore, okay. That one no, yes. So it depends on. It depends on 
you. It depends on the way that we see things. It depends which day you decide to go. It depends on the project. It depends on the person that is uh, as, I don't know, all right? So it depends on whatever idea that depende de, it depends on, okay? Me falta una. How do you say me falta una? Cuando usted dice, me falta una. Cuando usted tiene que hacer una lista de cosas y dice, me falta una. How do you say that? Can be, uh, I am missing one. Very good. Thank you. Yes, I am missing one. Okay. I am missing. I am missing one. I don't know if you will be able to say it, but yes. I am missing one. Okay. I am missing one. Yes, I was uh, listening to some of you, but okay. Then guys, right now what we are going to do is the second activity because I would like to listen to some of you, okay? So we are going to have this a speaking classroom activity, but we are going to perform here in the main room. Okay, so I need three volunteers. Please raise, raise your hand. And if not, um, we are going to choose three of you. Okay, Jonathan, you are the first one. Tony, you are the second one, okay. And Luis Miguel, okay. So Jonathan, Tony, and Luis Miguel. Very good, guys. Okay, so in one minute, I need to do the following, okay. So first, Jonathan, second, Tony, and Luis, you are number three, okay. So um, in this case, Jonathan, in what in one minute, I need to describe the profession. In one minute, I'm going to set the timer. So describe this profession. Describe this profession. Tell us about uh, everything about the profession. Everything that comes to your mind about this. Okay. Go about the police officer. Yes. Okay. In my humble opinion, I think the police officer is very important in this country, but not only in this country, in around the world. But the police officer is you not know, only with take care of the people. Uh, I think we need uh, the police officer on the street. For example, uh, there are different different type of police. The police, for example, uh, the police on the street, I don't know, I don't know what is the name in English, mm -hmm. and the police officer that I, that we know. For okay. example, the the police that they take care of the people, I think is very important uh, in this country because in the past, uh, as we know, is uh, we live in a danger, danger uh, country, but now it's a little better. Okay, yeah, very good. Um, the only observation, Jonathan, police officers, okay? Uh, police officers, okay. Officers, very good. Okay, thank you. Uh, next, in this case, Tony. Me. Yes, Tony, what can you tell us about the second profession, which is taxi drivers? Okay, he's a taxi driver. This man is very important to uh, to to help us to go to the point A to the point B. And okay. he, he uh, um, is, a, is a person that um, makes your, your trip very funny and uh, you can use to go to your war, to go um, for travel uh, or... Uh, um, for, for for a funny or travel um, trips, and okay. the the most important of of these people is that he knows all all the the cities and the best way to to go to the restaurants to go uh, for parks or many attractions in this country or different places in in the world. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, Tony, uh, just maybe the observation that you say make and is makes yeah. because you were talking about the third person, okay? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, make. and, he, yes, and okay. he knows the best route 
to get to the places, right? Yes. Very good. Como llegar. Very good. And the last one, please. Can you please uh, go ahead and tell us what do you think about the last profession that we have on this slide, Luis? I think is that that person is so smart. They study so many years to certificate, to practice the, mm -hmm. the medicine. They diagnostic uh, a lot. Uh, se dice enfermedades? Illnesses? Uh, illnesses and diagnostic. Um, mm -hmm. uh, perdón, este, they... <laughs> Diagnostical medical problems, treating okay. injuries. Mm -hmm. uh, they are important people in the so, so in the city. I don't know the the town yeah. because they they are yes um air deportation or como se dice uh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Uh, I try to run, but, <laughs> but don't worry, okay? Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. I mean, the purpose is you speaking, right? And you identifying that we need to work on vocabulary, right? That's the main purpose. Okay, so guys, how do you say diagnosticar? Mm, diagnosticar. Um... Gracias. Diagnose. Diagnose. Diet. Diagnose. Can you repeat uh, enfermedades? Oh yes, illnesses. 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 Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Teacher, can you yes. Train, train, use train this? Um, sorry, Tony. Yes, please. Treating, treating, injuries. Injuries. Yeah. Oh, three, okay. three, three. They treat. 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 Treat injuries. 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 Treat. And treat. Sociedad? Injuries. Society. 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 No sé por qué me puse tan nervioso, but. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, it's just because of the exercise, right? Yes. Okay, Tony. Maybe we use disease. Disease as well, diseases, illnesses. We can use both of them. Correct. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. I need three volunteers. Fisher, sorry. I try to uh, uh, to explain the the doctor has many areas to explain. Eh, to practice to es, eh, especialidades como, no no sabía cómo uh, decirlo like the specialties specialties ok como no sé cuando cuando se habla del cerebro cómo es que se dice en inglés este pero la especialidad médica mm. neurology neurology yes the neurology ok sí creo que es que escogí me tocó lo más difícil um, or, orthopedic, uh, neurology. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. I mean, yes. Okay. But it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. So now I need other three volunteers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Atilio, you go first. You are going to describe chef. I need other two. Me? Carla, okay, you are going to describe number two, which is, uh, well, you you can interpret this, right? It could be a software developer. It could be somebody for on the marketing department. You decide, okay? Um, and the last one. Yes, teacher. Okay, Morris. Very good. Okay, so Atilio? Yes. Okay. Um, can you tell us about a chef? Um, uh, uh, chef, we ask skill to rise to break. How we enjoy every time we eat a uh, wait eat. Yes. Um. Mm -hmm. 
to to the, to, to no, it's all the late uh, what do you say comida food food uh, it's also on the late food okay um, uh, uh, ensalada salt and oh uh, salad? Salad? Salad. 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 I don't, okay. I don't know. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Atilio. So um, we just need to work on vocabulary. Okay. But very good because you tried. So let's work on vocabulary. Okay. Vocabulary. Okay. Uh, Carla? Uh, I think he's uh, from... Front end development. Development. He is a creative person and knowledge um many ethics uh language and maybe I cannot. <laughs> Try okay, yes, thing. Um, bueno, he can work in uh websites, okay. Um, the part on front of software, okay, and maybe. She can usually software. Okay, he can use uh software. Okay. Well, right. usually. Eh, usable, usable como sería usually. Usado? Como, no, usado como que él se encarga de la parte de usabilidad del software. Mm, okay, so La parte de usabilidad. Maybe Practica. easy for persons. <laughs> the software are easy for the person. Hace que se haga fácil que las personas yes, lo yes, usen. Yes. Uh -huh. Maybe he certificate a uh, easy, um, uh, easy process to use. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, yes, he is the one that actually um, takes care of creating a friendly um, probably Inter interface. Correct. A friendly interface. Correct. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, observations. Uh, just the pronunciation for creative. 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 <laughs> Creative, creativo, creative, yeah? Yes. Okay, thank you. Very good, Carla. Okay, Maris? Okay, the profession is teacher. Yes. The profession is, the, for me, is very important because it's a uh, prepared student who are there Future or country. Okay. Some specialists specialize in different subjects. Okay. It's a very important career. Okay. And he is very beautiful career. Okay, all right, very good. Now, um, repeat after me and say specialized. Specialized, okay, specialized. okay thank specialized. you. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, thank you very much for the ones that uh, participated, right? Very good. Um, that's the way that we are going to improve, guys, okay? So now let's move, and what we are going to take is the listening quiz. 
we are going to take the listening. Yes, let's take the listening quiz. Let me send the link for you. So there you go. Open the link and the passcode is listening, capital letters. Okay. Let's open the quiz. Let me know once you are in and I'm going to play it three times. Okay, three times. I'm going to play this audio three times. Okay, ready? Okay. Yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Mm. Okay. Hello, this is the emergency 911 operator. Help! Help! Please help me! Yes, sir. Please calm down and explain exactly what is happening. Calm down? My car is stalled on the freeway. I have a lady passenger and she's going into labor. Now relax, sir. Explain exactly where you are. I'm, I'm in the southbound lane of the Lincoln Expressway, about 15 miles from the Washington Tunnel. And this lady isn't going away. Okay, what's your name, sir, and your passengers? It's, it's Bob, and I have no idea about the woman. She's in no condition to tell me. Okay, now what's the nearest landmark to your location? Pay careful attention. Um, I see Golden Arches, McDonald's. Okay, is there anyone else with you? No, and I've tried to get someone else to stop. Hey, what was that? Ah, someone threw a bottle at me. How soon can someone get here? I've just dispatched an ambulance to your location. They should be there any second. Hey, is there anything I can do while we wait for the ambulance? Yes, uh, keep her calm and warm. Okay, please hurry. Oh, they're too late. It's a boy. Okay, guys, I think that some, some of you couldn't hear. Todos pudieron escuchar? Mucho ruido. No, teacher. Yes, but it's so confused with, with the song. Some yes. Sounds, uh, around. Actually, that is the that is the the challenge, right? <laughs> Bye, guys. Um. Okay. Aleida, let me know if you're able if you're able to hear right now. Okay, give me one second. Let me replay it. Solo okay. si escuchar. Hello, this is the emergency nine one one operator. Now, yes. 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 Bye. Okay. Here we go again. Okay. Here we go again. This is the emergency nine one one operator. Help. Please help me! Yes, sir. Please calm down and explain exactly what is happening. Calm down? My car is stalled on the freeway. I have a lady passenger and she's going into labor. Now relax, sir. Explain exactly where you are. I'm I'm in the southbound lane of the Lincoln Expressway, about 15 miles from the Washington Tunnel. And this lady isn't going away. Okay, what's your name, sir, and your passengers? It's, it's Bob, and I have no idea about the woman. She's in no condition to tell me. Okay, now what's the nearest landmark to your location? Pay careful attention. Um, I see Golden Arches, McDonald's. Okay, is there anyone else with you? No, and I've tried to get someone else to stop. Hey, what was that? Ah, someone threw a bottle at me. How soon can someone get here? I've just dispatched an ambulance to your location. They should be there any second. Hey, is there anything I can do while we wait for the ambulance? Yes, uh, keep her calm and warm. Okay, please hurry. Oh, they're too late. It's a boy. Okay. Now Carlos no puede escuchar. Okay. Bye. Okay. Carlos? It's about a newborn. Yes, okay. But, okay, Carlos, are you there? Hello, yes. Vaya, dígame si escucha ahora y dígame los demás. Si Hello, this is the emergency nine. Yes. No. Yes. No. Okay. Yes, No, yes, porque yo la pausé, pero. One one operator. Help! Help! Please help me. Y ahora? Yes. Y Carlos? No. Mm. On, the on the first time I I only listened to the, 
middle of the audio. Mm -hmm. Could be because of the internet connection o mm -hmm. puede ser eh, porque tiene que um, maybe um, I'm not sure. Si está en el teléfono tienen que ingresar de nuevo a la aplicación para que puedan escuchar. Así es. Ok. Well. Si están en el teléfono tienen que ingresar nuevamente a la aplicación. Okay. okay. Bye. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. Hello, this is the emergency 911 operator. Help! Help! Please help me! Yes, sir. Please calm down and explain exactly what is happening. Calm down? My car is stalled on the freeway. I have a lady passenger and she's going into labor. Now relax, sir. Explain exactly where you are. I'm, I'm in the southbound lane of the Lincoln Expressway about 15 miles from the Washington Tunnel, and this lady isn't going away. Okay, what's your name, sir, and your passengers? It's it's Bob, and I have no idea about the woman. She's in no condition to tell me. Okay, now what's the nearest landmark to your location? Pay careful attention. Um, I see Golden Arches, McDonald's. Okay, is there anyone else with you? No, and I've tried to get someone else to stop. Hey, what was that? Ah! Someone threw a bottle at me! How soon can someone get here? I've just dispatched an ambulance to your location. They should be there any second. Hey, is there anything I can do while we wait for the ambulance? Yes, uh, keep her calm and warm. Okay, please hurry. Oh! They're too late. It's a boy! Okay. Ready? Yes, I don't detect who is calling. Okay. All right. Um. All right, guys. Uh, um. Would you like me to replay it? Yes. Okay. Let me replay it. Hello. This is the emergency nine one one operator. Help! Help! Please help me. Yes, sir. Please calm down and explain exactly what is happening. Calm down. My car is stalled on the freeway. I have a lady passenger and she's going into labor. Now relax, sir. Explain exactly where you are. I'm I'm in the southbound lane of the Lincoln Expressway, about 15 miles from the Washington Tunnel, and this lady isn't going away. Okay, what's your name, sir, and your passengers? It's it's Bob, and I have no idea about the woman. She's in no condition to tell me. Okay, now what's the nearest landmark to your location? Pay careful attention. Um I see Golden Arches, McDonald's. Okay, is there anyone else with you? No, and I've tried to get someone else to stop. Hey, what was that? Ah! Someone threw a bottle at me. How soon can someone get here? I've just dispatched an ambulance to your location. They should be there any second. Hey, is there anything I can do while we wait for the ambulance? Yes, uh, keep her calm and warm. Okay, please hurry. Oh, they're too late. It's a boy. Okay. Teacher, I don't understand what is the the purpose of the sound when the the window is breaking uh, break it or 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 something hit the car. Uh or maybe something hit the car. The car. The I, baby I don't know. Is a yes. stone. And no. the baby. <laughs> yes. Oh, baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. And somebody actually uh, hit the car. That is correct. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So let me let me see your scores. Okay. All right, I can see that some of you got 100. Perfect. Okay. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Guys, how do you say punto de referencia in English? Okay. Last mark. Mm, Last mark. Something like that, okay? But you have the idea, guys, okay? So it is landmark. Land, landmark. landmark. Oh, okay. What is your landmark? The, golden wings. Yes, the landmark. Yes. Uh -huh. McDonald's. Uh, no. McDonald's, yes. Uh -huh. He said that. McDonald's. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, let's continue. Well, before we go, we are going to take the last quiz for today, which is about... Uh, Adverb, uh, well, in this case, no, the present perfect reading. 
Okay, on this one, guys, you don't need to enter any passport. Well, yes, you need to enter one passport. Let me give it to you, okay? Let me get it. Um, this exercise, uh, we didn't do it yesterday. Yes, we didn't. Let me see. Person perfect reading. Yes, but you will need a passcode. Mm. No, we need an uh, access code. Yes, you need a passcode. Um, okay. So this one, yes. Okay, here, here you are. Okay, guys, there you go. That is the link. And the passcode is going to be this one. This one. H62CLJK. Yeah. Okay. What you need to do is the same thing. You are going to add the present perfect you need to add the auxiliary and the verb in past participle hmm. yes you need to type Teacher, the exercise only changed the verb or we have to use the auxiliary too? Yes, the auxiliary as well. Okay. Yes. Present perfect, okay? Present perfect. Present perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I'm using the past participle. Oh, you are using the simple past, I think. No, Atilio is using the simple past. Let me see, Tony. I, I, I cannot finish that. It's the simple past. Let me see. I can see your 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 work. No, you are using the um the present perfect. You're using the present perfect. Let me see. Yes. Well, on number one, two, and three, you have used present perfect. Las primeras tres las tienes correctas. Okay. De las demás no las has respondido. Ah, I'm thinking about. Yes, I see that. Okay, creo que ya... mm. 
creo que... Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, guys. I can see that some of you already finished. Okay, bye, guys. Um, very good. I can see that some of you already finished. All right, so what we're going to do is the following, okay? The ones that have not finished, oh. keep uh, taking the quiz, okay? You can take it, it, it doesn't matter, okay? So do not close it, but finish it. I'm going to get your score. And I can see your score, okay? So probably, I don't know, Carla, were you able to see your score? Were you able to see your score, Carla? No me salió nada. Yes, okay, don't worry. I, I got your score, okay? So the ones that are still taking the quiz, take the quiz. And then the other ones, uh, please, um, we should go ahead and finish with the class because it's already time, guys, and it's time for you to sleep as well, okay, to rest. If you haven't finished, you can finish, okay? If not, take it tomorrow, okay? You decide, you decide. Then the only person that please stay with me right now is Carlos Omar Linares. Then the other ones, thank you very much for joining today. I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? And well, guys, um, if you have any question, we are going to talk about that tomorrow, okay? Thank you very much for joining. Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Bye, Bye see you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Let me see. Okay. Um, yes. All right. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Carlos. How are you? I'm tired. <laughs> you, yes, I know. I know that you all are tired. Yes. Okay, Carlos, this short, um, I will say period of time is for us to know about you a little bit more, right? It's for me to know about Carlos Omar. Who is Carlos Omar? Right? Why are you learning in English? I would like to know about you. Yes. Uh, uh, I like the English uh, things. Uh, study in in a school. Okay. Uh, I I heard uh, music in English in English. Okay. Uh, I like to read books. Yes. Okay. Uh, but but uh, some some alone time, uh, yo dejé de 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 practicar. Okay, uh, Carla. I. Uh, and now uh, I I want to learn to practice English uh, for more for my for my best future. Yes. Okay, Carlos. I really like that um, attitude, right? That you would like to learn English because of a better future. That is something really good. Carlos, uh, let me ask you something, right? Um, what do you do in your free time? What are your hobbies? Uh, I like I like to 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 travel in in the country. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the the volcanoes, the uh, mountains. Okay. Eh, eh, este, eh, pueblos vivos. Okay. Eh, I like to to paint, 
games and, and drought. Okay. Repeat after me and, okay. say, and say volcanoes. Excuse me? Repeat after me and say volcanoes. Volcanoes, yes. Volcano. Okay. Carlos, um, okay, I'm going to ask this uh, question in Spanish, right? Because your opinion is very, very uh, relevant and important for me, okay? So, okay. Carlos, I would like to know what do you think about our classes? What do you think about our classes, right? This module, Intermediate 2, what do you think about our classes? Uh, this class is, is very uh, dynamic. Uh, I like it so much. Okay. Uh, the the other teacher and the model one, uh, he he was good good teacher. Okay. Uh, but you you are more uh, dynamic and and and, and participate uh, all all the students. Yes. In uh, that uh, I like it so much. Okay. Perfect, Carlos. Yes, the class are designed, right? The classes are designed for you to participate a lot. So I'm, I'm happy that you like our classes, right? So now, Carlos, can yes. you tell me what is the most difficult part of the English language? What is the most difficult thing that you encountered in the language? Uh, uh, the, the bears. Bears. Uh, irregular bears. Uh, uh, for me, is sometimes uh, confused. Okay. In the past, in the present, in the future. Got it. Yes. Um. You know, one of the most difficult, probably not difficult, but probably complex things in the language are verbs, as you mentioned before. But I hope the links that I shared to you, they help, right? Try to study Thank you. the verbs, right? Because I'm pretty sure that you are going to learn those by heart. It's just a matter of practice and time, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Okay, very good. Uh, Carlos Omar, do you have any question, any type of doubt right now? Something that you uh, would like to I, I just want to uh, uh, comment. Uh, tomorrow and Friday, uh, I go to travel to Honduras. You won't be uh, in our class. Uh, I, I have a login uh, for for my well in this place. Okay. Uh, it's, it's buena, la, la señal. Yeah. Uh, entonces, espero poderme escuchar. Okay. Bien. Um, okay, Carlos. So, um, trate de estar presente, aunque esté como oyente, porque yo sé que va a estar viajando, entonces, lo esté siempre para que no le afecte en su asistencia. Okay. Okay. Vaya. Very good. So, Carlos, thank you very much for letting me know about that. And then if you don't have any question, we are going to stop right here and I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Take care, okay? Good night. Good night, okay. take care. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.